So we're, we're gonna talk about what keeps the oil where it belongs so that we don't start making metal. Good question. So how does that work? I, it's hard to open this whole cowling because of all these screws and I don't have enough time to unscrew all these, but here's how the inverted oil system works. The oil pump itself is inside the engine in the oil pan. Now, normally in these, these engines, this is a flat six engine. Think of like a Porsche engine or a Volkswagen engine, flat, horizontally opposed six. And the engine case itself is essentially a tube. Mm -hmm. And the oil pump is in the, there's a, there is an oil pan in the bottom, there's an oil pump down there. But it's, it's uh, what they call a dry sump. It's not sucking the oil directly up out of it. It's not sitting in the oil. It's above the oil and there's a tube that goes down in the oil when the engine's right side up. So it sucks up the oil in, in a normal engine, you know, in like your Cherokee or your pipe or whatever. In a normal engine, it would suck it up out of there through a tube and then into the oil galleys and spread it around the engine. When, we, when, when they modify an engine for an aerobatic plane, they make a modification to it. They take that tube that would pick it up, that would go right from the oil pan up into the oil pump, and instead they route it to a fitting on just the outside of the engine. And then they have a ball valve. It's got three hoses going into it and a big ball bearing in there, and they call it the shuttle valve. So when the, when the airplane's upright flying like this, the big ball bearing's in the bottom and oil is flowing um, the, the middle, oil is flowing um, in the top and out the middle. The middle is connected to that suction side of the oil pump that used to be in the oil pan but now is connected to a fitting. So the oil, when the engine's upright, the oil pump doesn't know and the engine doesn't know it's right side up or upside down. All the oil pump knows is it has a supply of oil in the suction side which comes in this tube, and, I'm sorry, comes in the top and pumps out the bottom. Now, how's it get in the top? They run a tube from here down to the bottom of the oil pan. So oil, instead of being sucked into the oil pump from inside the oil pan, is now being sucked externally from the bottom of the oil pan to this top tube. And the oil pump is sucking it through the middle of the shuttle valve. So again, the engine doesn't know it's right side up or upside down. All the oil pump knows is there's a supply of oil. It, it, sucks it, it suctions it in, pressurizes it, and sends in the oil galley. Now, you turn the airplane upside down, and that little ball bearing, and it's only a ball bearing about an inch in diameter, flips to the top. Wait, think of it upside down. Mm -hmm. Now, the tube that was on the bottom is actually connected to the top of the crankcase. This one in the middle is still the suction side, but now when you move the ball, um, as the airplane's over and all the oil pools on the top of the engine, which is now the bottom because it's upside down, it's now sucking the oil, I'll turn this over, that oil is sucking off the top of the end, what was the top, into that tube and the middle, it goes into the suction side of the oil pump and the oil pump then pressurizes it through the engine. So the engine doesn't know it's upside down. All of this is accomplished externally to the engine and it's very clever. There's no, the only moving part is the one ball and that's gravity fed, right? It's basically going to go wherever gravity pushes it like that tube. ball in your shop back. Exactly. Yeah, I hadn't, yeah. yeah, I hadn't really thought about it that way, but that's all it does. It just when turns over. So that's how it keeps circulating oil. They do something similar with the breather. There's a slobber pot with another shuttle valve in it. So normally the breather of your engine comes out the top and just goes usually down the cowling. Instead, they run it through this kind of pot and there's a ball valve in there that does the same thing because when the engine's upside down, it still has to breathe. Otherwise, you get a pressurization of the case. So they do the exact same thing with the breather side of it. And that's how the inverted oil system works. It's, it's super simple. The only thing that could make it not work is if the shuttle valve, this ball doesn't move. And that typically happens when it gets corroded in place because you haven't flown your airplane inverted in a long time. If you're always going upright and inverted, there's always hot oil running through this thing. It stays well lubricated. There's virtually no maintenance on these things as long as you fly the airplane upside down all the time. It's that simple. Exercise your ball valve. Yeah, exercise your ball valve frequently. <laughs>